Brandon Fugel alerted us that he and his brother Cameron were bringing Utah Attorney General Sean Rez to the ranch, so we were all eager to hear his perspective and figure out as a group what our next investigation should be. So how do you feel about using the helicopter for more experiments over the Triangle area? Well, I think we have to. Uh, we're getting such compelling data. I want to I want to explore further. Uh, the helicopter is safe, and I pre-flighted it. I feel good about it today. Let's do it. Our plan was to have Cameron fly Caleb and Eric above the triangle, stopping at various altitudes between 1,000 and 5,000 feet high in order to drop small weighted balls down through the anomalous zone to see if their trajectory or velocity is affected in any way by anything out of the ordinary. Before we start, I need to make sure that my GPS tracker is on. One of the high priority items for us is to collect the data logged GPS position information for the helicopter during both phases of this experiment. Okay. If we have a space time anomaly at the triangle, as we have speculated, it could well be that the GPS data will give us an indication as to its arrival and departure during the experiment. We're a go, we're a lift off this time. Camera, do you copy? Yeah, I've got you loud and clear. We're just about to hover over the triangle here. Be ready. All right, we're ready to drop. We can clearly see the triangle out the right side of the aircraft. OK, Cameron, in five, four, three, two, one, go. Holy Shit. crap. There it is. See it right there. Yeah. There it is. Oh, so there, look, you see they just dropped another one. Uh, they're gonna do five, I've seen at least three. It drops away, you can go, Cameron. Drops, right, drops away. away. Uh, Cameron? Yeah. I've got that 1.6 gigahertz signal. I'm still trying to sort out why I'm getting it. That's crazy. All right. Let me know uh, when you guys are ready to make the drops. We're watching you now. Copy. After completing the first set of ball drops over the triangle around the 1,000-foot altitude, Cameron ascended just above 5,000 feet so that Caleb could drop five more to see what would happen to them as they fell all the way through the anomalous zone. We're 10,000 feet above sea level, 5,000 foot over the ranch. It's interesting, the winds. I can feel it pushing us back to the east there. That's crazy. Yeah. I, feel, I can feel that. After Eric detected the 1.6 gigahertz signal, we didn't know what to expect once Cameron reached the mile high zone. But as soon as he got up there, the helicopter was suddenly pushed around by major gusts of wind. So approaching the 10,000 foot above sea level mark, reducing the climb, slowing down. We're going to get back over that triangle here. Every time we get close, it seems to be we really get pushed off. The winds go from about eight knots to 35. So my instruments are picking up, and then the compass spins. OK, you ready? Set. OK, drop. What the heck? We've got no GPS position. Holy crap. We lost the GPS. Where are they, why are they going so fast? Where are they going? What? That is weird. Dang. I swear yeah. I saw a flash. Wow. Hey, Cameron, do you copy? Yeah, go ahead. What are you showing your altitude at? We're now descending through 9,400 feet above sea level. Copy that. We showed about 10. I only got four. You dropped all of them? We dropped four of them. We got one more. Copy that. Uh, he's still headed off to the west. Where, where is he going? I think something's wrong. We've got lightning. We're going to abort this mission and come back for safety's sake. So we need Cameron to get back down on the ground safely. Well, dang. I'd call that a success, though. It's like right when we got over the triangle again. There are, of course, inherent dangers in flying in general. But I would say that this attempt to study this area has been a resounding success. We have all kinds of new data coming up. But I want to see what was captured. That was weird. That was weird. Hello. It's good, good to have you with us. See you all. So we're going to be 
uh, looking at this uh, for some of us for the very first time, and boy, do we have some interesting things coming out of it. Well, I'm interested and excited, Eric. Uh, while you were flying, Cameron, you probably remember that I attached a GPS locator, a, a data logging device to the helicopter. That's right. Um, and so I'll share some data uh, that shows the trajectory of the helicopter during that. Oh, wow. There's clearly some issues with this. They're jumping, they're glaring so over the train. So my first question is I really don't recall seeing you guys go way off of the ranch, like this big top circle that's there. That's a really prominent feature in the data. And, and that's so miles. I know that's not what we did with the helicopter. That was my question. For not me. at all. I want to draw some attention to those vertical movements. I've actually measured the vertical distance from this point here to the top of whatever this maneuver is. Mm -hmm. It's 666.1 feet. Yeah, no did way. Did you do anything? No, I would have had to be in a hover, flying straight up in a hovering climb to do that maneuver. And I wouldn't have done that. It wouldn't have been safe or ideal. We never did anything like no. that. I'm going to share some video. This is a video recording taken from ground level right at the triangle, looking up at the, at the aircraft. And um, well, it's best I just show you. Yeah. Oh. Anxious to okay. see. Okay. I'll just ask you if you see the picture okay. about which I'm speaking. This, as you notice, it said embossed effect mm -hmm. uh, on the uh, on the caption there, because what's happening is I'm, I'm applying a filter to the video. When you adjust the contrast like that, we start to see unusual features. The circles behind. Uh, this artifact right here, this feature right here. No. Oh. oh my god. Holy cow. What is that? And it's following you in a, it's yeah, like. there's something following. <gasps> Gentlemen, what the heck is flying around in my state? That is probably the, the most significant thing I've seen flying next to the helicopter. Wow. It was great that we had high-speed cameras recording our experiment over the triangle two days ago. We captured a clear as day UAP right next to the helicopter. This is in broad daylight. This is a physical. UFO with the reflection off of one side glinting off of it right. captured all on Like it's video. metallic or something. Yeah. So. That is a solid object with the same reflective quality that the helicopter exhibits right above it. Is there any chance you can zoom in on it? Um, certainly. Yeah, that's all right. There we go. That's what I was wanting to see right there. It almost seems like there's a point here. I was just you about to say. Kind of like a top. You know, it like a triangle. Actually, like actually if you think about the perspective you're looking at it, if you look at it, you can kind of see a hemisphere here and maybe a hemisphere that this could be very similar to the orb. It could be two spheres with a separation, because it looks like there might be a separation right there. This is absolute evidence that we're being monitored. There's no other explanation. Attorney General, thank you so much for patching in. You saw it first with us. We'll stay in touch and uh, appreciate all of your help and your interest in our ongoing investigation. Mr. Fugel and your team, thank you. Always professionals. Thank you. All right, thanks.